Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about another optimization method called parabolic interpolation. Parabolic interpolation belongs to the open method, so there is no guarantee that this method will converge. Parabolic interpolation takes advantage of the fact that a second-order polynomial often provides a very good approximation to the shape of the function near the optimum. Um, remember that the optimum points correspond to the points where the curve looks flat. So in this method, we use a second-order polynomial as a approximation of the true curve. As shown in this figure, you can see the black curve represents the true function, and this black dot is the true maximum. And we first find three points on the true curve, and then based on the three points, we can draw a second-order polynomial as a approximation of the true uh, function. So this blue curve represents the parabolic function, and then we can find an uh, optimum point of this parabolic function, which is this dot. And then we can use this dot as a approximation of the true maximum. All right, so first let's see how to uh, find the second order polynomial connecting these three points. Just as there is one and only one straight line connecting any two points, there is one and only one parabola connecting any three points. Assume that we have three points on the true curve. We call this the first point x1, fx1, and the second point x2, fx2, and the third point x3, fx3. Right, and then we find a second order polynomial connecting these three points. Assume that the second order polynomial is fx equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We can plug in the first point because this function passing through these three points. So it passes through the first point. So we have fx1 equal to ax1 squared plus bx1 plus c. And then we can plug in the second point, fx2 equal to ax2 squared plus bx2 plus c. And then we can plug in the third point, fx3 equal to ax3 squared plus bx3 plus c. All right. So you can see this system of three equations, and we can we have three unknowns a. B and C, right? So we have three equations and three unknowns. So we can solve them exactly, right? So we can solve for A, B, and C. After we get A, B, and C, we can uh, plug in into this uh, function ax squared plus bx plus c. And the, then we can find the optimum of this function. To find optimum, we make the derivative of this function equal to zero. So the derivative of this second order polynomial equal to 2ax plus b. To make this equal to zero, we have x equal to negative b over 2a. Right. So based on these three points, we first find a, b, c, and then we find negative b over 2a. So this will be the formula for the negative b over 2a. So we can use this x4 as the next approximation for the root. So this, the process is like this. Based on x1, x2, x3, we find x4, which is shown in this formula. And then based on x2, x3, x4, we can find x5. And then we can do this iteration over and over again until we are close enough to the true optimum. So let me show you how it works uh, graphically. All right, so assume that we have a function So assume the function looks like this. And we first have three points on the function. This is x0, this is x1, and this is x2. 
So we find a second order polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c connecting these three points. So assume the polynomial looks like this. All right. And then we find optimum of this second order polynomial. Assume it's here. So we use this value. So this value here as the x4, right? So in the next iteration, we can start from x2, uh, x1. No, so this will be x3 uh, because we have x0, x1, x2. So this will be x3. And then in the next iteration, we can start from x1, x2, x3, right? So we still have this function. It doesn't look like, okay. All right, so this time we have x1 here, x2 here, and x3 here, right? And then based on x1, x2, x3, we can find another second order polynomial connecting these three points, right? And then we can find uh, optimum point of this uh, second order polynomial, we call this x4. And in the next iteration, we can, based on x2, x3, x4, to find x5. So you can do this over and over again, all right? So the problem we want to solve by using parabolic interpolation is that given a function of one variable, fx, we want, we want to find a local minimum of that function. And the assumptions are that we assume the function is continuous and it has a continuous derivative. So the initial requirements, we need to have three different initial guesses, x0, x1, and x2. So the iteration process, uh, given the last three approximations, assume that the last three approximations are xn minus 3, xn minus 2, and xn minus 1. And then we uh, find the second order polynomial connecting these three points. We call this ax squared plus bx plus c. And then we can find the optimum point of this um, quadratic polynomial, which is the, the this optimum point is the xn, and xn is equal to negative b over 2a. So the formula um, to calculate a, b, c, to, to calculate negative b over 2a is given on the textbook as this one. So you can directly use this formula when you do the MATLAB programming. And in the next video, we will talk about the halting condition of the uh, parabolic interpolation method.